This is a very short film about depth cues, or various ways artists try to represent three dimensions on a flat surface, which is exactly what a painting is, or a drawing, or a print. So there are five depth cues, and I'm just going to explain them, and I chose this one painting because it seems to use all of them, so um, I'm just going to illustrate my points. So overlapping. Objects closer to the viewer obscure objects further away. And you can see overlapping with this column, for example, which is closer to us, and it is overlapping the sail of the ship in the background. So uh, that's one simple device. We say these are devices because it's, it's a choice an artist makes. Um, vertical placement. Objects closer to the viewer are lower in the picture plane. So the, the things that are closest to us are right down here on the bottom. This rectangle of the painting is referred to as the picture plane. And that just sort of reinforces the idea that it's completely flat. So things that are close to us are at the bottom. Things that are further away are higher up. Relative size. Objects closer to the viewer appear larger in the picture plane. Now, um, look at the rel relative size between this little rowboat here and this ship in the background. On the picture plane, the rowboat is shown much larger than the ship, but you know and I know that in actuality a ship is much larger than a rowboat. But the artist creates that illusion of space by making the ship small back there. Number four, atmospheric perspective. Objects far away appear lighter, bluer, and less clear. And that's because there's so much moisture in the atmosphere that it alters what we see. It alters the, the visual image. So he shows this here with um, this structure and the structure behind it looking very light in color and kind of fuzzy. If this were not a seascape, we would see maybe mountains or trees far away and they would look bluer even. Uh, but in this case, it's just kind of fuzzy and light. And the last one is linear perspective. This is a scientific method in which parallel horizontal lines appear to converge on the horizon line. So he's using linear perspective on this building where on the actual building all of these lines are horizontal, meaning level with the floor, the ground. Um, and in linear perspective they're all shown as a diagonal line. And if you trace them, if you drew them out, they would probably meet right here at the horizon. Um, and some of you have even drawn with this method or learned this method in an art class before. So uh, it's pretty sophisticated. Not every culture uses this. And sometimes it's a matter of choice. Sometimes they can, but they choose not to. So um, just keep in mind that there are these five depth cues and they're uh, used by some artists some of the time. Now I have here a group of images and I just wanted to give you an exercise and I'm not going to talk to you about this. I'm just going to let the images roll. I'll give you a few seconds on each one, maybe about 20 seconds. And um, you, can, you can use your own powers of analysis and figure out what it is. The only thing I will say is that in the lower right-hand corner, I've given you a list that is not the list of everything in this picture. It's just the list that you can choose from. 